What's up everyone, welcome back. Today we're talking about a $50 top water that I think is worth it. It's the Depths Evoke Zero. Let's talk about this crazy plopper bait that catches them. Thanks everyone for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like this content. I do a lot of tackle reviews. I'm always fishing, trying new things. I really like JDM stuff, but I fish all kinds of stuff. And I'm going to tell you about a bait that I've been fishing the last few trips, the Depths Evoke Zero. It costs 50 bucks. I got to put that out there right away. It's not a cheap bait. But this plopper style bait is really unique because of how it performs and what you can do with it. So let's look at this thing. So this is a pretty good size one. This is the 120. But believe it or not, there's actually a bigger one. This is the 150. I haven't used this thing, but you could just look at this 120 and 150. This one is 50 bucks. This one's only five bucks more, 55. I mean, if you're paying that much, you'd think a bigger bait would be a lot more expensive. But this is a plopper style bait. You know, everyone likes whopper ploppers, choppos, things like that. The biggest thing about this bait is it is a completely different sound. And that's because it has a metal plopper. You could also adjust this thing. I pulled, I don't know how much you could bend it back and forth. So I'm going to just put that disclaimer out there but you can move it a little bit. And that's what I did. I moved it in and it had a slower plopping sound. But the sound of this is just completely different than your plopper sound that you get from a Whopper plopper or a Chapo. In my opinion, those are a lot louder, which this is still a loud one, but it's just a different pitch to the sound. It's more of a deep plopping with this metal, just from my ears, from what I've noticed. But this thing is really unique because it's a different sound that you can also customize by bending back and forth. Again, don't bend it back too much. I don't know how long this, this blade's gonna last, but I, I have adjusted it and played with it. They cast incredibly well. I mean, this one weigh, I mean, this one weighs one ounce. This one weighs nearly two ounces. It's an ounce and seven eighths. I haven't used this one. I really should now that I've caught some fish on this one but I love how much it plops the sound of it, but it has some other cool features in it that I think weren't the $50 price. I mean, it's again, it's a really expensive bait, but if you think about topwaters, you don't lose many of them. I could probably count on my hand how many topwaters I've lost. And most of the time it's, you know, a fish breaks you off or, you know, you're not gonna get hung up in many things unless you're casting up into trees, things like that. You just don't lose topwaters. Even if your line snaps, you just go find the bait because it's floating, right? So you're not gonna lose topwaters as much as you would like a crankbait, swim bait, or anything that goes under the surface. So back to the bait. So what makes this so expensive? I mean, again, it, it is depth. It's a Japanese bait, so it's imported. So that's part of the cost there, but it has premium features throughout. Like these are the Ryugi, quad trebles, which these things, if you haven't used, I guess you can't really call them trebles because it's four points. These things hook up incredibly well. The first fish I caught on this, I had three points from this in there and then two from here. So I had five hook points in that fish. That fish was not getting off. It was completely hooked. That's what you want. So that is the quad hook. And these are very, very sharp. I have you know, just tying them, you know, they grab everything. The Ryugi is very, very good, very good quality, has a lot of fans. So that's part of the cost there. The other cool feature about this is it has on the nose, it's actually a swivel. So the line tie is actually on a swivel, which if you want to know what that does, if you fished a plopper enough, you know that those things twist and turn. Sometimes they kind of roll on their side. So this kind of prevents a lot of that when you cast it's kind of always true. No matter where it lands, no matter how it lands, no matter how fast you reel it, it stays true, which is great for getting bites. Speaking of bites, when you get a bite on this thing, it is incredible. They destroy it. At least the, the day I went out there, every single fish just crushed this thing, did not miss it. So that alone was to tell me they like this bait. I fished it a few other times. It had similar instances with fish that bite it, they they do not miss it so that's that's pretty fun it's a fun bite with top water in general but if they don't miss it it's going to make it that much more fun the other thing i notice about this fishing it is it's not even though it's a big bait you're not going to only catch giant fish i mean i wish that was the case but i was catching fish that were a pound pound and a half two pounds so it's not like you're going to eliminate those average size fish by throwing this huge bait and again it's not that big but compared to this one it's a lot smaller so I, I don't know like i said i haven't fished the 150 this may do the trick i mean as far as you know getting rid of a lot of those little fish and triggering those giants 
But so far I've really liked fishing this. It's a good topwater bait, premium colors, and that plopping sound is so unique that it just makes it so much different and it, it that's what makes it separates it from another plopper you know it's just something a little bit different so i do like this bait i think it, it's worth it if you want something different again 50 bucks it's a lot but it is a a top water that you will have for a long long time catches fish got premium components nice features built in like that swivel in the line tie Really like it. I really like all the depth stuff. I got a lot more reviews of depths products coming soon. So stay tuned if you're into that JDM style bait. I got a lot more reviews coming up.